Okay, so in this video we want to complete the square. So say we have um, some quadratic equation that looks like this. x squared plus 8x uh, minus 9. Plus 8x minus 9. And that's, that's y equals. Well, what we can do is we can set this equal to 0. Now let's just start rearranging it. So we will just move the 9 over to the other side and we'll get x squared plus 8x 8x is equal to 9. You know, um, all quadratic equations have this general form here. I'll just write it over here. Um, it's ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And now what we can do when we want to complete the square what we're going to do is once we get to this step here is we're going to add we're going to add this to each side um, we're going to add b over 2a and that's all squared so we'll just add that to both sides and so it won't actually change your equation so let's go in here and put plus uh, well what's b b would be the 8 and 2 times a is the a would be 1, so it's just divided by 2, and we'll square that. And we'll do the same on this side. So we'll have plus 8 over 2 squared. So let's just simplify that a little bit so it looks like x squared plus 8x uh, plus 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 squared is 16. And this side will be equal to 9 plus 16 again. So let's keep uh, let's keep reducing this, and we'll do this side first. Um, 9 plus 16 is 25. And we look at this, and we're actually able to factor this. So we'll put it in this form. Um, this is going to be x uh, plus 4 and x plus 4. And actually, you know what, we could write this um, like this, x plus 4 squared. Now, when it's in this form, this actually gives us really valuable information. Um, from this, we can find out where the vertex is. Um, our vertex, here, yeah, let's just write that, is at. Um, its x component is going to be the negative of this number, so it will be a negative 4. And the y component is the negative of this number here, so the y component would be negative 25. All right, so there you go. Now you have the vertex of the, the original quadratic or the parabola. And so now all we want to do is we just want to find where this intercepts the x-axis. And we can find that by just solving where x is equal to 0. So let's just reduce. Let's take the square root of both sides. Let's say square root of x plus 4 squared is equal to the square root of 25. 25. And so this is equal to, this becomes x plus 4 is equal to 5. Plus or minus 5, excuse me. Could be plus 5 or minus 5. So now we'll rearrange for x, and x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 5 and that will give us the answers x is equal to negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9 and x is equal to uh, negative 4 plus 5 is 1 so these are the two x-intercepts of our parabola so it would just look something like this um, Draw it on here. We'll say this point here is negative 9. Um, I guess that would put negative 4 right about there. And we'll also need, I guess we'll need positive 1. And we need the point negative 25. We'll say it's somewhere down here. Uh, these two axes definitely aren't the same scale. And so then, if we, if we draw our vertex as negative 4 and negative 25, 
So the vertex is, and that's where the two intercepts are. So our parabola ends up looking something to this effect. Like that. Just less squiggly, but I think you get the point. That's just the general idea of what it looks like. Um, and we got that by completing the square.